In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the domain and range of a reciprocal function. So here is the standard form of a reciprocal function. y is equal to a divided by x minus h plus k. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rough sketch of this function. And to do that, I need to determine the horizontal asymptote and the vertical asymptote. The horizontal asymptote will simply be y equals k, and the vertical asymptote is x is equal to h. So in this example, we can see h is 2, k is 4. So the horizontal asymptote is going to be y is equal to 4, and the vertical asymptote is x is equal to 2. So with this information, we can draw a rough sketch of this graph. So at x equals 2, we have a vertical asymptote. And at y equals 4, we have a horizontal asymptote. Now, when a is a positive number, the graph will exist in quadrants 1 and 3 that are formed from the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. If A is negative, the graph will be in quadrants 2 and 4 from the asymptotes. So in this example, A is positive 3. So if we want to draw a rough sketch, it will be something like this. Now this is not a perfect sketch, but it's good enough for us to write the domain and range, which is what we want to do in this problem. Now, to write the domain, we need to include all of the x values from left to right. So all the way to the left is negative infinity. All the way to the right is positive infinity. So we're going to write all the x values from left to right, excluding the vertical asymptote. So the domain is going to be negative infinity from 2, union 2 to infinity. So x can be anything except 2, the vertical asymptote. And you can see it on the graph. x can take on any value except 2. If you plug in 2, you get a 0 in the denominator of, of the fraction, which will make it undefined. Now, to write the range, we need to focus on the y values. So we're going to analyze the graph from the bottom to the top. The lowest y value, I'll put it in a different color, is negative infinity. The highest is positive infinity, but we need to take out the horizontal asymptote y equals 4. So for the range, it's going to be from low to high, negative infinity to 4, union 4 to infinity. Here's what we need to know. When writing the domain and range for a reciprocal function, you need to remove the vertical asymptote from the domain, and you need to remove the horizontal asymptote from the range. For rational functions where you can take out a whole, you also need to remove that from the domain and range, but we don't have that in this example. I do have other related videos that explain how to find the domain and range while removing not just asymptotes, but holes as well. As well. For those of you who want to quickly access my math and science video playlist, feel free to check out the website video-tutor.net. You'll find playlists on algebra, geometry, trig, pre-cal, calculus, general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, statistics, and other topics as well. And you can also access my final exam review videos on this website, in addition to my test prep videos. And there's some other links that you can explore here as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now, let's move on to our next example. So let's say we have the function y is equal to negative 5 over x plus 1 plus 2. Feel free to pause the video and go ahead and find the domain and range of this function. 
To find a horizontal asymptote, we know it's y equals k, and k is 2 in this example. For the vertical asymptote, we could set the denominator of the fraction equal to 0 and solve for x. This will give us our h value, which in this case is negative 1. So now let's go ahead and draw a rough sketch. So let's start with the vertical asymptote, x equals negative 1. And then we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. Now notice that we have a negative sign. So the graph it is not going to be in quadrants 1 and 3 of the asymptotes, but it's going to be in quadrants 2 and 4. So it's going to look something like this. Now let's write the domain. So looking at it from left to right, it's going to go from negative infinity to the vertical asymptote, which is negative 1 to the right side of positive infinity. So it's negative infinity to negative 1, union negative 1 to infinity. Now for the range, we're going to analyze it from the bottom to the top. The lowest y value is negative infinity. Then we're going to get to the horizontal asymptote of 2, and then go up to the highest y value of positive infinity. So the range is going to be negative infinity to 2, union 2 to infinity. And so that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to find the domain and range of a reciprocal function. So just to recap, when writing the domain in interval notation, you want to remove the vertical asymptote because it's an x value, or it's related to an x value. And for the range, which is associated with y values, Make sure to remove the horizontal asymptote, which is also associated with a y value. By the way, for those of you who want access to more related content, if you check the links in the description section by clicking on more, you'll see other videos that I have on simplifying rational expressions, adding, dividing, multiplying them, even graphing rational functions, which is somewhat similar to graphing reciprocal functions. So feel free to take a look at uh, these links when you get a chance.